Welcome back, guys. Today I thought I'd take a look at uh, Swag Arch. Now, Swag Arch, this is the new 17.07. Um, I downloaded and installed this this morning, had no issues whatsoever. Uh, the I'll put a link to the website. Uh, very nice, very understated, um, very simple desktop. Uh, it's the XFCE environment uh, using, uh, I believe it's Plank as a dock. Um, multiple wallpapers. I selected one of, one of the uh, wallpapers that come loaded out of the box. Now, there are lots of uh, applications installed. And I'll put a link to this website so you can go through and see what's installed out of the box. But it's a uh, fairly comprehensive, full-featured installation. Now, it's a, it's a, I guess, a typical XFCE install. Uh, if I click on Community, there's a Google Plus page, uh, so you can post your comments, get some help. Uh, it seems to be very well designed. I've looked at it before. I liked it before. Now this is, as I said, this is a, a uh, one of the default wallpapers. One thing I noticed, there is no right-click menu. I believe I can change that in the uh, configuration. But um, if I want to change the wallpaper, then all I need to do is go into settings and click on desktop. As you can see, there are lots of wallpapers that are included out of the box. Um, I'll show you the default. This is the default wallpaper. Uh, very nice. And the wallpaper that I selected <coughs> is this one here. Now, everything that I've thrown at it, it's handled without a problem. If I go to my menu, you can see I've got Wine, I've got Blizzard, Hearthstone, I have Steam installed. Uh, everything works flawlessly, no problems at all. I did go ahead and install a few things. Uh, it comes with Firefox and I installed Chrome. Now as far as uh, resources, I've got pretty much everything running right here including GUVC view and simple screen recorder and uh, I'm at 23 percent CPU and about a gig and a half of uh, memory of RAM I've got eight gigs loaded so it's it's not the lightest desktop in the world um, but as you can see I'm running quite a lot and um, I'm not consuming an over uh, normal amount of memory or CPU usage. So to me, this is fine. Uh, I didn't record the CPU usage or memory out of the box um, right after the install because that's not typically how an end user leaves it. They usually install all the software that they would normally gravitate to and also audio video uh, applications so I think it's a better indicator when you look at it uh, when it's using some day-to-day uh, -day applications and you can see one and a half gig and 22 percent is not bad at all so as I said, everything works fine. Uh, it's a very clean, uncluttered desktop. The only thing I might change is I might put open windows, an open window um, applet in the panel. Now, y your, your open windows are uh, designated in the dock, um, so that might be sufficient for you. But if I wanted to add my windows so I can see my open windows, and then I would have to move it. A 
and then I could move that so if I take window buttons and move that right there I've got everything lined up properly so uh, that's what I would do just so I can see my open windows and I will close that out and as you can see uh, that to me works a little bit better than leaving that blank it's just something that I'm more comfortable with so this is swag arch it's the 17.07 uh, nothing really out of the ordinary loaded out of the box. Uh, another thing is my uh, printer. I configured my printer no problem at all. Uh, I had to install NVIDIA manually, uh, which is not a big deal. And also, I am running, because I've got the 411 kernel, I'm running the 381.22 driver which is excellent my Realtek Wi-Fi again I installed that manually and then I had to install the the appropriate headers for the kernel that I'm running but once I rebooted everything was absolutely perfect so this looks like a very nice Arch Linux uh, distribution if you want to get a feel for Arch and also if you're comfortable with the XFCE desktop environment. I don't see any negative issues at all. As a matter of fact, I kind of like it. Uh, I'm going to be using it for the foreseeable future. I don't expect any issues. Uh, but as, I, as I've said lately with every Arch distribution, uh, keep an eye on your updates when that little icon turns red go to the Arch Linux homepage and just make sure that there have been no major issues reported with any of the uh, update candidates so guys that is it for this video please rate comment and subscribe thank you very much for stopping by the channel today and I'll see you soon take care